The following plot describes the height in centimeters, weight in kilograms, age in years, and gender, female or male, of 20 patients visiting a hospital. Female is uh, blue, male is red. A person's body mass index is calculated as weight in kilogram divided by squared height measured in square meters. For example, a person weighing 100 kilograms at a height of 100 centimeters will have a BMI of 100. 100 by 1 square. Nice. A person with BMI less than or equal to 18.5 is considered as underweight. 18 and a half to 25 is normal. 25 to 30 is overweight. Above 30 is obese. I saw this. I read this. I put on a lot of weight. Let me check this out. Right. So, not a good number. The unflattering number. Uh, lovely. I, I, I hate this multiple access chart. I like the multiple access chart. Don't get me wrong. I like this axis. I like this axis. I like this. I don't like this. Why? Because if it's a chart with numbers thrown in, I'm very sure. I, I, I always worry whether this is 60 or 70. This is 70 or 80. Which of these two is bigger? Is this bigger than this? I start worrying about those. Generally, I don't like these questions because you have to really take a leap of faith. If you ask me, I would say these two are the same size. This is bigger. These two are the same size. This is one notch smaller than this. But I have to be very careful to, to, to mark that in. So I am a little worried when size differentials come. They could have put some triangle and square and made life easier. I don't know why they don't do that. Anyway, wind up part. Let's kind of carry on with the questions part of it. Nice. This is bigger. Better. The average age of female patients who weigh 50 kgs or above. Immediately the size comes into picture. Female patient, blue. 50 kgs or above. So, above this line. I to count this. I count this. 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 And this. I know this, these two are nice. 50 and 50. Now comes the tricky part. Uh, nice. This is a small. This is bigger than this. Smaller than this. This is way bigger. If I put this as 60. 70. And 80. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is bigger than this. This is bigger than this. Super. So 50 plus 50, 100, 170, plus 62, 30, plus 80, 310. 310 divided by 5, 62. I had a tough time. When I saw this, I was I had I had it took a long time to actually plot this, and I just put some other values, got the answer wrong, didn't find them in the choices, went and looked at those numbers all over again. It's a pain to look at these uh, these charts like that. What you've got to do, what you've got to do. Answer I think it should be 62. Lovely. The highest BMI among all patients is approximately. This is nice. I like these questions. Highest BMI among all patients. Weight by height square. And so weight by height square. So if I look at uh, everyone in this range, this height. And so weight by height square. This one stands out. And as long as that is there, all of these are ruled out. Because same height, lower weight. Right? Taller, lower weight, all these points are good. Right? This one is heavier and shorter than this. This can be ruled out. This can be ruled out. This one is heavier at the same height. This can be ruled out. So we need to worry about only these three. We cannot really compare these two and take away from there, nor these two. So we need to worry about three computations. But only three computations. Right? So let's look at that. 70, 75, probably a 77 by 1.7 square. We have 77 by 1.7 square. This one is a 69 by 1.6 square. This one, 56 by 1.5 square. One of these is the answer. 1.7 square is 2.89. So 77 by 2.89. You want to take 2.89, plonk it as 3. So 77, I'll put it as 80. 2.89 to 3 is 1 by 30 higher. 1 by 30 higher than that is. So it's another 3. So this is roughly 80 by 3, which is 27. So I've got myself at 27. So these three are out. Okay, these two are out. My answer could be 27, 30 or 33, one of these three.
and so 1.6 square is 2.56 69 by 2.56 what am I going to do I'm going to take 2.5 multiplied by 30 2.5 into 30 is 75 and so it is not 30 this is less than 30 so I don't have to worry about 30 my highest so far is still 27 this number probably 27 is definitely not 30 56 by 1.5 square which is 56 by 2.25 2.25 into 30 is 22 into 3 66 again higher this is not 30 either so I've got 27 as this number these two are way less than 30 way less than 30 maybe they're 27 maybe they're 26 maybe they're 25 maybe they're 24 but way less than 30 so I don't have to worry about a number more than 27 this already gives me 27 that's the answer you have to take some chances make some approximations simplify if the calculator is provided in some context it is not in this context if it is there then these kind of questions become super simple if it is not there then we the, the key thing here conceptually is you can eliminate all of this you're worrying about only three and then we need to keep in mind that the square plays a bigger role but even that is not super juicy because the axis is not that clear 160 to 170 it's only 10 units 50 to 60 it's only 10 units 50 to 60 is huge compared to 160 to 170 160 to 170 is less than it's about 5 percent higher 50 to 60 is 20 percent higher so even if you square this this impact could be bigger so the axis are axis are misleading so we'll probably have to compute these three numbers, go for some ballpark, simplify, all of that. But but once you get one number, then anchoring the thing, worrying about the other two is that much simpler. And if you're computing only three, you can still do it. The BMI of the oldest person considered as normal weight. Is that all? Lovely. Oldest person considered as normal weight. Now the normal weight definition, let's have a recap here. BMI below 18.5 is underweight, 18.5 to 25 is normal, 18 and a half to 25, that's what we are looking for. So the oldest person, so let's worry about the 80 year olds, so there's an 80 year old here and an 80 year old here, let's worry about these two. This person has a weight of 46, the height of 1.75, this is 61 by 1.75. And so, we are looking to do 46 by 1.75 square and 61 by 1.75 square. The BMI of the oldest person considered as normal weight. So, if you look to these two, if one of them turns out to be normal, we are done. If both turn out to be normal, we are in trouble. If both are not normal, then we'll have to go to 70 year olds that means we'll have to look at this circle and this circle hopefully we don't have to go there and so 46 by 1.75 square 1.8 square is 3.24 1.7 square is 2.89 and so root 3 is 1.732 so this is probably 3.05 so I'll write this as 46 by 3.05 so 61 by 3.05 46 by 3.05 this is only about 15 16 this person is underweight but 61 by 3.05 60 by 30 60 by 3 is 20 so this works 61 by 3.05 the person is not underweight close to 20 and so but unfortunately for us there's a choice which is 20 and one that is 90 this close we cannot do this we know the answer is this 61 by 1.75 whole square. I'm going to do it more rigorously. 61, 1.75 is 7 by 4, 7 by 4 into 7 by 4. So 61 into 4 by 7 into 4 by 7. So 61 by 7, 8 times 56, 7 times 49 so 8.7 into 16 by 7 16 7 112 211 128 139 139.2 by 7 
140 by 2 140 by 7 is 20 this is a smidgen more than 8.7 so this is as close to 20 as possible 133 by 7 is 9 19 far from 19 close to 20 Therefore, narrow it down and then the last lap maybe we can be more uh, particular about the about the competition Thank you.